everyone. I was going to play with some collage papers today and I wanted to kind of show you um, what I am discovering today on my little adventure um, with Citrusol and National Geographic. Now this has been around a long time. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do it. So I was kind of playing with the idea of how I can push it farther um, and make make collage papers that are um, super interesting and fun, fun to work with in um, my journals. So I kind of, I've been playing all morning. I've had a lot of um, failures and some pretty cool um, finds. So I thought I would share with you some of the cool things that I found. Um, I'm just gonna flip through these real quick. This was a resist technique that I used some um, embossing enamel with. Again, these are like old uh, techniques. A lot of, I mean, I have had this in my stash for probably 20 years. Um, and I thought I would pull it out and just play with it. You know, I'm kind of ready to purge some stuff and get rid of some things. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try and use some stuff up um, for some collage papers. So these are some of the things that, some of the results that I got today. Um, pretty interesting, I'm really happy with them. I tried to cut a few different things um, and I found some of my favorites. And something with these, I will probably take them farther and add marks to them, um, even more like um, paint and, you know, kind of a further, along but a lot of these are just fun for you know like uh, journal pages there's some interesting things happening that you could find and rip out um, so the, the first thing that I that I found to do that um, is important is you're gonna just want to take your National Geographic and your citrus solve and you want to go through and I I ended up not dipping into here because it gets contaminated and then it doesn't work as well. So I poured mine in a little um, jar on the side. Found that the hard way. Um, and what I'm going to do is I just want to, you know, add the citrus solve to these pages and then just kind of go through and let these set. So I did a whole bunch um, earlier today and I let them sit for about it takes about 30 minutes and like some of these you know you probably aren't going to get a lot of the um ink to move around but it's interesting to see what happens i noticed like a lot of the um advertisement ink is different than what they use on their um editorial pages but I'm just gonna go through real quick and just add the citrus solve directly to the pages and let them sit for a while. And you can do this, you know, real, real quickly. You do a whole stack of them. And then you're just gonna wanna let them sit and dissolve the ink on the pages for, I would say um, between 20 and 30 minutes. You don't want the pages to start to dry together because they will stick but you do want it to start like um, eating away at this ink. You can see like on here, it starts pretty quickly. So that's that. So you can do as many as you want. Just finish this here. So I'm gonna let that sit. Um, I'm gonna pull up some of the ones I just did. So this is this is what you get when you pull uh, out the pages. So what you'll do after they sit for about 20 or 30 minutes is go through and they'll tear out pretty easily. And then you wanna you know either hang them to dry or um, I just did um, like some newspaper on the floor and just laid them all out so that they would dry. And it's dry here in Colorado, so it goes pretty quickly. So then I wanted to take these even farther. I really loved the organic um, nature of these. 
but I wanted to see how I could take these to the next level. And I decided to um, use some stencils to try and get some more um, of the marks. So I tried the stencil first and it was a lot more work than if you let the um, ink dissolve first. So I have these two um, stencils that I grabbed out and this again, pretty organic, um, kind of goes with what's going on already there. And I'm gonna work on top of this magazine to protect my space, um, my space a little bit. And I tried paper towel, it totally disintegrated, so that didn't work. Um, I ended up using a microfiber um, to do this step, and it worked pretty well. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna randomly clear out some more of, um, of the ink. And I like to go back and forth um, using my stencils, you know, pretty randomly, moving them around on the page, layering them with different ones. So I might go in with this one. Another thing that I did um, realize as I was doing this is if, um, when you're using small pieces, if you kind of uh, hit the side here, you're gonna wipe away a lot of the ink. So maybe little bigger pieces is easier to work with than these smaller pieces. And you know, turn them around and um, upside down and use, use the stencil on top of itself. And you'll start getting some pretty cool, interesting things going on. So I liked that. I also really loved um, going back in with a mark making tool and some of the uh, citrus solve and making marks with it. So I just painted it on or you can dip it if you have a shallow dish. And this works really good. It's, it's similar to the stamping technique, but it's quite a bit more organic in nature depending on the inks that are on your Page. So again, you know, I'm going back over the stencil, the stencil part that I already did and really building up the different marks. And I can just imagine these, you know, cut up in small little sections um, in my journal and I'm really excited to, to play around with these and to use them that way. So that was kind of just a really quick um, idea of how you can use um, National Geographic. And it does have to be this. I've used several different kinds of magazines and this is the one that works with the Citrusolve. Um, the ink is the right kind. Um, and some Citrusolve. I got this on Amazon, but you can definitely find it at like a hardware store. Um, grocery stores a lot of times have it too. So. I'm gonna keep playing. I thought I would get you guys all started on that technique and um, get you going with a stack. And I think I'm gonna play more with these and see if I can um, add some black marks or some coffee on them. And I'll come back and show you my results. But I wanted to show you that real quick. It's fun. It's a great, um, great collage materials to use. So. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy this. I'd love to see what you make. Tag me on Instagram at Amy Irel or um, message me here. See you soon. Bye guys.